a research station that never stands still. Locked in Arctic ice, drifting thousands of miles without an engine, this floating lab is not just surviving the most extreme environment on Earth, it's moving with it. The $38 million Tara Polar Station is designed to be swallowed by the ice, letting the frozen landscape carry it across the Arctic for up to 18 months at a time. Unlike traditional icebreakers that fight their way through, this station surrenders to the elements, riding the currents to uncover the secrets of a rapidly changing climate. With walls of 20 mm thick aluminium, it can endure temperatures as low as minus 52 degrees Celsius and the crushing force of shifting ice flows. Inside, scientists will live in total isolation, powered by solar, wind and biofuels, operating with near zero emissions. As Arctic ice vanishes faster than ever before, this station could be our last chance to understand what's at stake. But how does it survive in such brutal conditions? The Arctic is a crucial regulator of Earth's climate. Its vast ice sheets act like a giant mirror, reflecting sunlight and keeping global temperatures in check. But here's the problem. That mirror is breaking. As Arctic ice melts, darker ocean water absorbs more heat, accelerating climate change in a dangerous feedback loop. And the effects? They don't stop at the Arctic. Rising sea levels, shifting weather patterns and threats to global food security, all of it ties back to the disappearing ice. Scientists warn that if we don't act fast, summer ice in the Arctic could vanish entirely within decades. Yet, for all its importance, the Arctic remains one of the least understood regions on Earth. Why? Because studying it is incredibly difficult. Brutal cold, shifting ice and extreme isolation make research here a logistical nightmare. Most scientific studies rely on three options – research ships, temporary ice camps or land-based stations. But each comes with serious drawbacks. Ships can cover large areas, but they burn enormous amounts of fuel, create noise pollution and disrupt marine life. Ice camps allow scientists to get closer to the action, but they're unstable. Melting ice constantly forces researchers to relocate. And land-based stations? They're simply too far away from the rapidly changing Arctic ice to provide real-time insights. What scientists needed was a station that could embed itself into the environment with minimal disruption. That's where the Tara Polar Station comes in. Unlike traditional methods, this floating laboratory is built to lock into Arctic sea ice and drift naturally with ocean currents, moving just as the ice does. This unique design lets scientists gather uninterrupted data for long periods, giving them a much clearer picture of how climate change is reshaping the Arctic. But why is this station such a big deal? The idea isn't entirely new. It builds on lessons from past missions, like the 2006-2008 to Arctic Drift Expedition, which proved that a long-term presence in the ice was necessary. Now, with the Arctic warming four times faster than the rest of the planet, the need to understand these changes is more urgent than ever. So, how does this groundbreaking station actually work? And what makes it so different from anything before it? At first glance, the Tara Polar Station looks like something straight out of a science fiction movie. Its sleek, oval-shaped hull isn't just for aesthetics, it's a survival mechanism. Made from 20 mm thick aluminium, this shell is designed to withstand the brutal forces of shifting Arctic ice. But here's the twist. Unlike icebreakers that cut through the frozen landscape, the station does the opposite. It surrenders to the ice, letting it lock the structure in place for up to 18 months. Instead of resisting the Arctic's grip, it drifts with it, riding the currents like a futuristic explorer of the frozen world. Despite its compact size, the station is a powerhouse of innovation. Stretching 26 meters in length and 16 meters in width, it serves as both a research hub and a home for its crew. In the summer, up to 18 researchers live and work here. In winter, when the Arctic becomes even more unforgiving, the team scales down to 12. But regardless of the season, life inside is anything but ordinary. Missions can last up to 500 days, meaning every inch of space has been designed for maximum efficiency, sustainability, and survival in some of the harshest conditions on Earth. At the heart of the station lies its modular laboratory system, an ingenious design that allows scientists to reshape workspaces based on the needs of their research. Why is this so important? 
because Arctic science is anything but predictable. One month, a team might be studying microbial life hidden deep within the ice. The next, they could be tracking atmospheric changes that impact global climate patterns. The station's adaptability ensures that no matter the mission, the scientists have the tools they need at their fingertips. The station is equipped with cutting-edge instruments, including DNA sequencing tools, cytometers for cell biology research, and specialized devices for analyzing Arctic fish stocks. One of the station's most groundbreaking features is the Moon Pool, a large open shaft that extends from the deck straight down into the ocean. But why is this so revolutionary? Because even when the station is completely encased in ice, scientists can still lower sensors and collect samples from Arctic waters up to 2,500 meters deep. This means continuous data collection on ocean temperatures, salinity, and marine biodiversity, something that was nearly impossible with previous research methods. But staying in one place isn't the goal here. The station is equipped with a self-propulsion system, allowing it to adjust its position when necessary. Yet its true purpose isn't to fight against the ice, it's to move with it. Instead of resisting nature, the station drifts naturally, following the Arctic's seasonal cycles to study the environment as it changes. And what about sustainability? That's a top priority. Unlike traditional Arctic expeditions that burn massive amounts of fossil fuels, the Tara Polar Station is designed to operate with a minimal environmental footprint. Solar panels, wind turbines, and third-generation biofuels power the station, reducing diesel reliance and keeping operations nearly carbon-free. Inside, every aspect has been optimized for survival in extreme conditions. Heated cabins, a communal mess hall, and even a steam bath provide essential comfort for the crew, who must endure months of darkness, isolation, and freezing temperatures as low as minus 52 degrees Celsius. Special LED lighting systems in the laboratories use green and red lights instead of bright white, reducing light pollution and preventing disruption to Arctic wildlife. Every system, water filtration, waste management, and power supply has been meticulously designed to ensure the station can operate efficiently for long periods without resupply. But technology alone isn't enough. The real mission is about the science, unraveling the mysteries of the Arctic before it's too late. The Tara Polar Station is a scientific powerhouse. What happens when the Arctic ice melts at an accelerating rate? How does it reshape global climate systems? These are the pressing questions this cutting-edge station is built to answer. Packed with state-of-the-art equipment, it's unlocking secrets that could shape the future of our planet. One of its most critical missions is to monitor how melting sea ice affects Earth's climate. As ice vanishes, the ocean absorbs more heat, accelerating warming in a feedback loop called Arctic amplification. Scientists aboard the Tara Polar Station track these changes in real time, studying their impact on ocean currents, weather patterns, and global climate shifts. But climate change isn't just about temperatures, it's about life. The Arctic, despite its brutal cold and months of darkness, is home to an astonishing variety of organisms. Microbes, plankton, and fish species have adapted to these extreme conditions over millennia. But now, their survival is being put to the test. What happens when warming waters disrupt their delicate balance? How will the arrival of new